good morning everyone so today is wednesday september 22nd 2021 and if you couldn't tell by the title today is my disneyland traditions day um so today i am so excited i have been waiting for this for like it feels so long now if you guys have been following along on my youtube channel um you guys know that i was supposed to do the disney college program last year for fall 2020 obviously that got canceled and the dcp is still not happening for disneyland um but now um i am going to be working part-time in the park so a little bit higher up than the dcp and i still need to make a video on my my application and interview process so make sure you stay tuned for that but I am so excited I've been waiting for this for so long I basically applied for this job back in June so it is a long time coming but my traditions is scheduled today for 8 a.m and it is at the casting center in anaheim i have packed everything i have my snacks ready um i'm gonna bring a little lunch hopefully i'll be able to meet a lot of people i did my makeup today put on some lashes um curled my hair because it's a it's a good day um but i woke up today at like five 15 um and i was so just excited and ready for the day but i live about 25 minutes away from disneyland so that is why i am up so early and also it says 8 a.m but they do recommend to get there 30 minutes early so i don't want to like run late or anything um and yeah so i hope this helps anyone if you are having a disneyland traditions very soon but yeah i'm really excited and i am just pumped and i'm gonna try and bring you guys along as much as i can today i do know for a fact that i will probably not be able to vlog too much but i will try and talk to you guys throughout the day and then obviously let you guys know everything that happened um afterwards so i'm so excited and then i'm gonna go change really quick and then i'll show you guys what i am wearing okay guys so this is my outfit um i got this dress it like goes all the way to my knees um from tj maxx um when i was in vegas so this is the fit today this little sage green white floral moment and then i have these um little heels that i'm wearing like not like formal heels or anything but they just have a little heel but they're like sandal ish um also i was freaking out last night because i was worried that we had to wear like closed toe shoes and i do not own flats because flats like don't fit my wide feet so I was like very concerned um, that I was not gonna have the Disney look. So I actually went into the Disney look handbook last night and looked for myself um, because I've been receiving a lot of conflicting information on TikTok and everything about exactly what kind of shoes you're allowed to wear. So I did look for myself and the Disney look does say that you can wear an open toe um, shoe or it could also have an open um, heel so if you are worried about having flats um i found the answer for you but yeah i have an open toe like sandal heel situation going on 6 42 now so i'm gonna go make my coffee um pack my snacks and then we'll probably be on our way um i just checked traffic um LA to Orange County traffic is already like 45 minutes so that adds an extra 20 minutes to my travels so we'll see how long it takes me to get there but yeah I'm so excited okay so this is everything I'm bringing I just bought this lunchbox at World of Disney the other day and I'm like wow this is so perfect for my new Disney job um but I, they told us to bring a non-refrigerated lunch um, and snacks for the entire day, so I just brought some um, uh, granola bars, I brought a wrap, and it's, I'll be fine in here. <laughs> um, and then I brought some chips and a cheese stick and some other snacks and lots of things. So I'm all set for my lunch, and then I have my water bottle, um, since I usually get thirsty throughout the day, and then I brought... I have this tote bag that I just got from um, 
Target. And I have a notebook. I probably won't bring that though. And then I have my favorite pen in case I want to take notes. And then just my wallet because um, we need our ID and my keys, of course. And then I'm going to make my coffee. But yeah, that's basically what I'm bringing. And then I think that's all I need really. So yeah, let's just take a moment for this cute lunchbox though because she is very cute. Hi guys. So I am on my way to traditions now and traffic is not it um i yeah it's taken already um i'm supposed to get there at 7 50 which is literally 10 minutes before my classes um which is high stress anxiety environment currently um but it is usually like 30 minutes but it was like more closer to an hour so I used Waze and I am using her for my trusty um, guide today. I took like some back route of Fullerton. The main freeway that I usually take is packed to the brink so we're taking the back roads. I am hoping that I am not late I will be speed walking into that place but thankfully we already did onboarding at this um, casting center so I know where to park and stuff so that should be fine but yeah um, I was planning on also like talking before I went in but I don't think I'm gonna have time for that so that's why I brought out the camera right now but yeah um so I should have left earlier and woken up at like four. <laughs> uh, but yeah, almost there. Nine more minutes. And I keep hitting like every red light. So that's great. All right, y'all. Just turned into cast place. Um, and now I'm just gonna go park. But this is where you park for everyone who is not aware. Usually the visitor parking is to the left, but they told us that we need to park in the structure. So I'm basically just following everyone because it seems like everyone, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> so we have about, it's 7.51, class starts in nine minutes. <laughs> okay, can't wait. All right, we're here in cast member parking. I'm gonna take the elevator. I did bring my vlog oh, camera. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, so I am officially a Disney cast member. Um, we got our name tag and our blue ID and our ears and everything and I actually got to leave early. Um, it's only 11.50 and they were about to go on their lunch break. Me and this other girl who were who are working from home, they actually told us that we were allowed to leave because the rest of the day is just for those people who are actually working inside the park. So it's probably a lot of irrelevant information for me who will not be actually in the parks and I'm not receiving a costume, I'm not receiving like anything like that. So we got to leave early. It was originally supposed to be an eight hour day, but we started at 8 a.m. and then it is 11.50 right now. So a short half day, I guess. And I haven't received my schedule yet. Um, they actually gave out schedules during traditions, but they did not have a schedule for me or the other girl who is also working from home. So they said that I think they're gonna email it to us, but I have not received my, my training schedule, so I'm not really sure when I start work or when training starts or how many hours I'm working or anything like that so far. But I'm in the cast parking garage right now and I'm about to go home, but I will um, talk more once I get home and have some better lighting because the lighting is sort of really janky here um but yeah i'm already done and i'm so excited 
Okay guys, so update. I thought to myself, since I got out of traditions early, if I could possibly check out company D. Um, so I'm, I got sort of lost because this is like in very weird um, area. But if you didn't know, Company D is basically an outlet store for cast members where you can get merchandise for really cheap. So I thought to myself, hmm, I just got my blue ID and I literally have a name tag on right now. If I could go in and see if uh, this store that I've never been able to go inside and I have lots of time to kill now because I thought that I was gonna be in Anaheim until like 5 p.m. so Let's go inside and see if there's anything cool. And also, if I can go there, I think I can because I'm a cast member now. I still don't know. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll, I will have a haul. Okay. <laughs> I just went into Company D and for the first time ever in my entire life. And I just got so many goodies for so cheap. Everything was 50% off on top of the already discounted prices. My car does not want to pair with my phone. Um, but yeah, and everyone was so nice in there. I told everyone that I just came from Traditions and they were all so excited for me. And I saw all these cast members at Traditions. They were wearing these really cute lanyards that held their blue ID. And I was like, where do I get that? And then they told me that you could get that at like the team, team something. I don't even know. Today has been a lot of information. Um, but yeah. I will do a haul when I get home, but I'm gonna finally head home now, and yeah, it's also really hot today. So, <laughs> I'm very excited about Company D, and I will definitely be back very soon. Hi guys, so I'm officially back home from Traditions, and so I just wanted to sort of end this vlog with just me sitting down and talking about my experience, and also my company D hall um, so if you guys don't know what traditions is or if this is your very first traditions video that you're watching basically what traditions is it is the very first day for all Disney cast members so that is including everyone in the parks um, that includes Disney corporate that includes everyone who works for Disney. Everyone has to go through traditions and they basically teach you about the Walt Disney Company if you don't really know about the history and how it began and everything like that. Um, also the five keys that Disney has and just important things for knowing how to be a cast member at Disney. So usually it is eight hours long, but today um, for my role, I actually was dismissed early. Um, so for me, I started my traditions at 8 a.m. and then I was able to leave. It was around 11.45 right before, or like 11.30, right before they we're gonna go to lunch and lunch was gonna be a 30 minute break um, if you are curious but I got dismissed early because I'm not actually working in the parks I will actually be working at home so they told us that the rest of the day um, the rest of like the four hours or whatever it was going to be is actually everything related to working inside of the theme parks. So I'm gonna guess it was maybe going over costumes, um, going over like, I don't know. I don't really know actually. Um, so I'm not really sure what they talked about obviously because I'm at home right now. So that is what happened there. But basically, um, just a rundown. I got to um, Team Disney Anaheim at around 7.55. Literally was cutting it really close because of traffic this morning. So now I know if I have to get to Disney at like 8 a.m. again, I will have to leave like a little bit earlier because the traffic from where I live to Orange County is not cute in the mornings um, during rush hour. So I got there and they had um, signs everywhere like traditions um welcome to disney welcome to traditions so i went there um i checked in i gave them my um driver's license and then they gave me a temporary name tag that just stuck to my dress and i was given um mickey mouse as my group so we sat in a big um like a theater i would say and we were just introduced um welcome to traditions and then after that short period of time where all of us were sitting there I would say there was probably around like uh, like 60 
50 no there's definitely more than that maybe like 80 people in traditions today and so then after that we got um, divided into our groups for the day our traditions class so mine was Mickey Mouse so they said everyone with Mickey Mouse stand up and you're gonna go with your um, traditions facilitators so in my actual traditions class there was 18 of us including myself so we then got we then went into a classroom um, that was in tables with chairs so I was sitting at a table with three other people so I got to meet some really cool people everyone was so friendly so nice the people I met they were so nice and I wanted to talk to them more at lunch and I was so sad that they sent me home I was so sad so my facilitators I had um, Kevin and Danny and so they basically just brought us through the entire presentation and everything and we watched a lot of videos a lot of um, really great videos that made me tear up at times I was like oh my gosh I'm emotional um, and then we received our ears um, you guys saw in the clip earlier um, we all got our Disney ears and we were able to like take our cameras out and stuff and everyone was like oh my gosh Emily you have such a fancy vlog camera and I was like huh <laughs> um, but yeah I got these ears I want to get like the back embroidered with something I don't know and then we did that we watched more videos um, and then we received our cast member name tag and of course I'm not gonna be working in the park so no one's gonna ever see me with my name tag on but I'm gonna wear it at home still which is fine um, so we got our name tag and I'll show you guys like a close-up of it okay this is my name tag it has my name it says Disneyland and it has my hometown of Plainfield Illinois if you guys didn't know that is where I am from I'm so happy about my name tag let me just put it on again and then so we also received our blue IDs so it we were able to submit our photo beforehand so I submitted my picture and then we have our actual cast member IDs now which is really exciting so we get all of our cast member discounts um, and yeah that was really fun and then after that we had um, we had a little break and then after that we had a um, little thing about safety and a lot of things about COVID and COVID protocols and things of that nature. So that was fun. And then after that I was basically done. It went by really fast. I had actually wanted to stay there longer and I was really sad when I had to leave because they didn't need me there anymore oh and also during traditions um, right before the safety speech um, they did pass out everyone's training schedules so you do receive your training schedule the day of your traditions typically but again I did not receive a training schedule they handed out in like paper um, like a pamphlet and it says like all the important information on there where you're gonna meet what you're gonna wear your first day um, your training schedule for the next two weeks but again I did not receive one because I'm gonna work from home so they didn't give me one so I have to wait for it I think they said they're gonna send it via email so I'm hoping that I get that today because I was hoping that I was going to find out my training schedule um, this week so everyone also received this training and I'm still waiting on that but that was basically it and then I went um, I left they had a cast member escort us out of the building and he was really nice and then I we went back to the parking structure and then I thought to myself oh actually before I go on about that let me also show you guys what exactly we got um, if you're still watching I feel like I've been talking for a really long time but they all gave us a reusable Disney land um, bag so that was really nice and inside is just a pack of surgical masks because we all need those and a empty hand sanitizer bottle that has a clip and they said that you could wear this on your costume um, 
or when you're in your Disney look and you could wear it. So that's fun. And then they also gave us a health screening checklist and also a thermometer because they said if you are not vaccinated, you have to um, take your temperature every time before you come in for a shift. But again, I am not working in person, so that is irrelevant for me. And then also in the beginning, they had a presentation from the Partners Federal Credit Union. So they gave us these reusable bags as well with Partners Federal Credit Union. And it's basically the credit union um, with Disney. So they have their own credit union. So they just gave us some information about that. Um, I didn't really look into it that much. So I'll probably read this, read about this later. And also when we got into our classroom, um, they had given us this um, Disney Traditions little pamphlet. And this was my name tag that I had on before. It was not sticking to my dress. So thankfully they gave us our actual name tags and we were able to write our name on the top. And this is just everything that they went over. Um, I'm not gonna go over it just because if you are going to tradition soon I want it to be a surprise of course and you could get all the Disney magic and then I got a Disney University pen that we were writing our notes with and then also because I raised my hand and answered a question I got a little free Mickey Mouse magnet so I'm going to be putting this on my fridge and it says Disney University on it so I will remember my traditions um, but yeah, those are all the things that they gave us and that was really fun. So that was basically my traditions. And then afterwards I thought to myself, oh, I didn't realize that I was going to be done this early. I really thought that I was going to be there for a really long time. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much time to kill. I don't need to be home right away. And I was like, I can go to company D. And if you don't know what company D is, it is a cast member exclusive store where you need your cast member ID and they have merchandise there that is all 50% off and then they have some items that are already discounted more than that so it's basically Disney merchandise like in the parks for really cheap and it's just for cast members I believe cast members can bring someone but I'm not 100% sure about that or how that works um, with bringing people to cast to company D. Um, but if you look it up, you can find it about it online. But I decided to go because it's about a mile and a half um, away from Disneyland. So I went and I got lost at first because there was a lot of construction happening and I didn't know where to turn into. But I got some things from um, Company D. So let me share with y'all. The first thing I got from Company D was this cute little pom-pom um, mini keychain. So I wanted to get this to put this on my new purse that I, like my tote bag that I'm gonna use for like work and stuff. So this was $5. I believe at the park it's usually like $12.99. Um, and then I got this cast member exclusive zip up sweatshirt and it says um, Disney cast member here. Guys, I don't know if y'all can tell how excited I am. And then on the back, <laughs> it says, uh, CM with cast member and I was really excited about this because they also have like cast member exclusive products there so obviously like Disney cast member and things and I don't really own any zip up hoodies but I really like them and yeah I'm really excited about this and this it was only it was $25 and y'all know that hoodies at the parks are typically around like 50, so that was fun. And then 
I got this shirt for my boyfriend Harsh, but he doesn't know yet because I haven't shown him my haul yet since I got back because um, he's in class right now. So this is the brand, it, this is brand new by the way. It's currently in the Wonderground Gallery in downtown Disney, but this is brand new. Um, this is by a new artist that's in the Wonderground Gallery and there's like a little hot dog on there. And also, um, I don't know what artist this is, but we both saw it at Wonderground and thought it was like really cute. So it says like, oh boy. And then it has like Mickey Mouse on the back. So this is really cute. And originally this is $40 and I got it for 20. So that was really great and exciting and it's like really soft too and it was the only one which is really exciting um and then also i got a paradise vibes um alani magnet if it wants to focus there we go um so i got this magnet when we went to alani in um july when we were in hawaii i never got a magnet so they had this and this is originally $12 and I got it for $6. So that was fun. And then lastly, I got this cute little bracelet. It's like hot pink, which is like very my vibes. And on the little circles, there's some that have um, Mickey ears. And that is so, so freaking cute. So like, I sort of just needed it and originally this was $15 and I got this for $7 so that was my haul my first ever company Z haul um, and I will probably do it be doing several more hauls and things like that um, but yeah that was basically my traditions day I still cannot believe that I am sitting here making a traditions vlog. I have been watching traditions vlogs for like forever now. So just sitting here and being able to experience my very own traditions makes me really excited. And I just left traditions today feeling very inspired by all of the cast members that got to speak to us today. A lot of them have been with the company for several years and have sort of, um, like worked themselves worked their way up um to where they are now which is really inspiring to me and in the future i really want to be um have a leadership position in the disney company and work my way up to where i want to be within the company so i am hoping that i'm with disney like for forever because this is my dream and i am just still in shock that i um, that I had traditions today. It just makes me really happy. So that is it for today's vlog. It's a little bit long with this um, outro of everything, but I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys follow me along on my brand new Disney cast member journey. I am trying to document as much as I can um, and just really enjoying everything and i'm really excited for training coming up and i am just ex so excited for so many things i'm going to oogie boogie bash um next month and i'm excited for when it's christmas time in disneyland and then i'm so excited to get my main entrance pass once they mail those out to us and then i'll get admission to the parks which i have not been to the park since july so i'm really excited about that but i just cannot wait for this next chapter in my life and I feel like it's been a long time coming that I've been dreaming of this moment and I can't wait to make so many Disney friends and everything. So I guess that's it for today's vlog. I will be making a video very shortly about my experience with applying and interviewing and all things like that. So that's basically it for today's video. Um, but if you guys like today's video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and leave some comments down below. If you guys have Disneyland traditions coming up soon, let me know. I feel like there's not a lot of videos about Disneyland traditions. So I hope this helps you if you have it coming up soon. And then also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. My personal is at Emily Mayant and my brand new Disney Instagram, which I am using for all things Disney is at it's Emily Ever After and also on TikTok. I am on there as well, creating content almost every day on at It's Emily Ever After. So that is it for
for today's vlog. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Disney content and more Disneyland things and Disney cast member things. And that is basically it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.